Oh man, it is so hot today, but it is also the perfect time to talk about our gems. These gems are the coins that we feel like is gonna take off to the moon, especially this month where activity is gonna be super strong. The criteria for choosing these coins is that these coins have solid tech. So a solid fundamental technology of good value proposition, a strong community. However, they don't have the mass attention yet. Because at the end of the day, what's going to cause that immense explosion is when people start to realize what these guys are doing, when the stuff that they're doing becomes public, that's when the explosive power, that's when the 100 X potentials can come. So we made a list, a very small list of the top coins we are considering gems for November 2021. Full disclosure, of course, I'm not a financial advisor. And of course, I do own coins. I, well, that's point of it right if it's not good why would i own it in the first place so now the first one out there is doze and this might sound a little bit crazy because it has to do with health and fitness i can already see those of you who are like oh my god is this guy a crossfit nerd now but hear me out here all right so what they're doing is they're gamifying health this kind of builds on what's already hyped to hell right now, which is the game space. We know Axie took off, that's a great proof of concept, but expanding this to health games, right now it's sitting at a market cap of $6.6 .6 million. So that's kind of why it's in this gem territory right now, because it's low market cap at its current point. It was released roughly at the early November, so a week a bit ago, it's going through the price discovery phase. It's currently listed on OKX, PancakeSwap, and Gate.io. So it's kind of starting out there. And I think it's a good sign that it's already listed on OKX at this current point. Now, the good thing is that there's two ways to get those. One is to just buy on the market. The other is by a proof of working out mechanism. Wait, what does that mean? It is the world's first brunt for reward and sweat to win audio game where you can literally make games while making games. Really, Jemmy? Really? Who would have thought health and fitness can be gamified on? Huh? And the best thing is, it's created by the team behind Zombies Run. They already have two games in the fitness metaverse. The first one is Car Smart Fitness and 22 Push Ups. They utilize AI to track your movements and give real time feedback on your form. Talk about deep learning, am I right? Those will be launching a running app called Dustland Runner. In it, you're an agent tasked to deliver valuable items across a post-apocalyptic world. The whole idea of games like this is that they kind of push you to run further out than you never normally would. Because if I just listen to music, I get bored, I can turn off. But if I hear zombie sounds, if I have a mission, if I have objectives in front of me, that makes sense. And even better, if I can make crypto, that's some really good thing right there. So that's the long term. I feel like getting more people to play, especially if you look at the success of play to earn, play to workout might have a similar catch on for the general public as well. And I think this is where the turning point can be for more people to come into the space. There's one thing I don't like about those, which is its maximum fully diluted valuation. So right now that is sitting at a sky high $951 million. This is obviously with everything unlocked with its full 5 billion tokens out there. So that is one thing to be aware of is that eventually when they want to scale and grow, that token amount of token does get unlocked. But of course, that will take some time. Next, we have the NFT wallet One Art. So we know that NFTs have been on a roller coaster ride with basically no attention going to NFTs for a while and then a sudden explosion up. Now, Art Wallet is an NFT infrastructure play. So it provides the ability for people to very easily collect, share, and trade NFTs. Now, why do we need that in the first place? Well, the problem right now is that a lot of NFT traders are trading on their desktops. They prefer MetaMask as the preferred tool. And honestly, navigating on the mobile phone is a little tad more difficult. 
But our wallet's got that covered. So they have all the tools to view NFTs. It's designed around collecting art, connect, collecting NFTs. They also support ways to show off that art. So whether it is through augmented reality technology, so you can put AR art, or if you want to broadcast that to the nearby TV and just kind of flex in front of your friends of what NFTs you got, well, that's one of the features with of Art Wallet. Now, where does Art Wallet make money? Because you know all this sounds great, utility of Art Wallet great, but how does it make money? How does it benefit the community and one art holders? Because what Art Wallet can do is it allows people to lend out their art. Now, because this is with the NFT space, it's not just art that we're lending out. We can potentially lend out game assets like Axie Infinities are getting pretty expensive now and lending them out fractionalization is the thing. And top of that as well, NFTs can represent even bigger aspects like IP rights. So being able to use decentralized finance applications directly in this wallet gives not just ability for artists to collect, but to make money and also to grow ecosystems funds for Art Wallet too, because when it tops to financial applications, you can always make a little bit on the side. So that's why we're excited for Art Wallet. It's not immediately apparent. It's related to the in NFT growth, but at the same time, it provides a lot of this fundamental infrastructure to make money well, selling the tools to make NFTs good. The last one we have out here is Lossless. Now, Lossless is a little bit different from the other coins because it's been trading at nothing for a while, but it's been witnessing this insane growth as of late. So previously, you know, August, September has been pretty weak for Lossless, but as October came, you can see this giant spike that happened in terms of Christ growth, but we're in this consolidation phase right now for Lossless, which yet again makes things a little bit interesting. Lossless is extremely important in this crypto space. Seriously, you can't live without Lossless since it helps projects mitigate losses from exploits and hacks. Lossless is a piece of code that creators insert into the tokens. This allows Lossless to freeze and reverse any fraudulent transactions based on the set of parameters to identify fraud. It also encourages the community to help report hacks because they are rewarded for doing so. To showcase the utility of Lossless, let me give you a real-life example. A large-scale flash loan attack was launched on Cream Finance in October this year, with over 100 million worth of funds being stolen. Fortunately, Lossless came to save the day, assisting in the recovery of 5,100 Ether. Currently, Lossless sits at a $34 million market cap, which is kind of what makes it interesting because what the potential of amount of money that can be saved by deploying and using smart contract security and what they provide could be way more than that. We know that millions of dollars are being hacked from DeFi per month. And the worst part, right, I'm sitting here, and the worst part is that this will continue to happen until the cybersecurity measures are up to par. So that's it for today's video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the Box Mining channel for more. We'll also be doing a lot more content on GameFi or NFTs, so do hit the notification bell so you won't miss out any of our content. Any other topics you would like us or me to cover, make sure you leave me a comment down below to let us know, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers!